Hey everybody, welcome back. I am glad you're here with me. If it's morning, if it's night, if it's noon, if you're drinking juice, if you're eating a sandwich, it is a great way to gather, isn't it? I have my cup, put my money in it, my offering. I hope you're keeping your cup at home. I'm gonna tuck it down here and I wanna know, how are you today? Are you thumbs up? Are you thumbs down? Or are you thumbs to the side? Or a, maybe you're even a double thumbs to the side. Would that just be a crazy thing to be today? I think today I'm a thumbs up. It was a great week. Um, I got a lot done. I did some art, which is one of my favorite things to do. I hope you're finding some of your super favorite things to do um, while we're at home, right? Now, let's get started. We're gonna light our candle. There we go. There we go. Remember, it's our sacred time. I hope you have a candle that you can light at home. And let's begin our time together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, today is an amazing story. So I want you to be listening very, very closely. Some people call it the birthday of the church, but what we're celebrating this weekend is Pentecost. Can you say that? Pentecost, it's kind of an unusual word. And I don't know, if you look behind me, you're gonna see some colors and the color you're gonna see the most of is red, red, is the color of Pentecost. I was gonna wear it today, but I don't have any red. So there you go. Now, to tell the story of Pentecost, we kind of have to go back to Easter, right? So Jesus dies, he rises, and before he goes up to God, he tells the disciples, for, he goes up to God the second time, he tells the disciples that they need to go to Jerusalem and they need to wait there for the spirit to come. That's God's helper. Jesus has said, I'm gonna send a helper to you when I go to God. Yeah, this helper is gonna help you remember everything and this helper is gonna teach you stuff so that you continue to know all about God. Now he says, you gotta gather in Jerusalem and the spirit is going to come. So the disciples are gathered there and they're just waiting again. There's a lot of waiting in the Bible, isn't there? So I gotta tell you this. So anyway, so they're gathered in an area and they're kind of watching things and people are watching them. And it's actually another festival. So there's a ton of people everywhere in Jerusalem. And then all of a sudden, this is what happens. This is crazy. They hear the rush of a wind, a big wind starts blowing through the area. Yeah, a big wind. And then all of a sudden, this is the craziest part, flames of fire appear over their heads. Like they're sitting right on their head. Can you imagine having a flame of fire just sitting propped on top of your head? Don't put a real one on your head, okay? Yeah, and the flames are red and orange and yellows. And you know what happens after that? It says the disciples are filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, the Holy Spirit. And you know what they begin to do? They begin to talk in all the languages of all the people that are gathered in Jerusalem. Now that was people from everywhere speaking different languages. And the disciples were able to tell everybody in their own language God's story. Yeah talk about God to everybody. Now I got to tell you something about this Holy Spirit. It's kind of confusing. Remember we say we begin in the name of the Father and the Son who's Jesus and the Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit is that helper. And sometimes that spirit, that's that God that's with us all the time. Sometimes it feels like a wind. So when you're outside, it feels like the wind moving. And then sometimes the spirit is like a flame right? But if you notice back here, there's a dove. Sometimes the spirit shows up like a dove. But I want to tell you my favorite way of thinking about God's spirit. It's like a cozy 
blanket. Have you ever thought about that? How many of you have a favorite blanket that you love to just wrap up in and just hug it to yourself? That is what the spirit is like. The spirit comes and it blows us and it blows our hair and it warms us and it takes care of us and it comforts us. It makes us feel snugly, it makes us feel warm, and it makes us feel safe. And when we feel like that, then that's a good way to feel when we tell God's story, right? Isn't that something? The Holy Spirit, a flame, the wind, a dove, a blanket. The Holy Spirit shows up in lots of ways, just like Jesus promised. Cool story? That's kind of a thumbs up story, right? Yeah, that's kind of a double thumbs up story. I hope you have a great week. I hope you can find some red today to wear. Maybe go out into the wind and maybe blow some bubbles and see where they go. Maybe that would be a fun way to see how God's spirit moves. I'll see you later. Bye.